First on Fox tonight, if you think you can get away with driving after having a couple of drinks, think again. A brand new court ruling here in Tennessee says you can still get a DUI even if you pass the field sobriety test. Don't take any chances. Tennessee's highest court reinstated DUI charges against a severe county man who actually passed many sobriety tests way back in 2009. Fox 17's Eric Alvarez live in Franklin tonight to explain how this new ruling could affect all of us out on the roads. Eric? Well, Scott Stacy, I'm standing here on the corner of Mac Hatcher and Donaldson Creek Parkway, where in just a little bit later tonight, Franklin police are going to set up a DUI checkpoint. Now, most of the time, if an officer suspects someone of drunk driving, they might ask you to do a couple of different things, maybe touch your finger to your nose or follow a bright light with your eyes. But a new state ruling says just because you do everything an officer asks of you doesn't mean you're going to stay out of jail. If you have someone that, that has some good dexterity and enough skill to be able to complete some of these field sobriety tests, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not impaired. Franklin Police Sergeant Charles Warner says a number of facts come into play when it comes to DUI arrests, and the state's highest court agrees. A Sevier County Sheriff's deputy stopped David Dwayne Bell in 2009 for driving on the wrong side of the road. Court documents say Bell passed several field sobriety tests, but still got slapped with a DUI because he smelled of alcohol and admitted to drinking. A Sevier County Circuit Court eventually dropped the charges, claiming the deputy did not have enough evidence to arrest Bell after he passed the sobriety tests, but now those charges are back. I don't think that's right. If you've passed all the sobriety tests and you've been found sober by their own instruments, how are they to judge who's sober and who's not? What's to stop you from just pulling anybody off the street and saying, well, you passed everything, but we're going to go ahead and charge you with something anyway? Nashville attorney Grover Collins does not represent Bell or the Supreme Court, but he is familiar with the ruling. Any decision the Supreme Court makes has lasting effect. The opinion by Justice William Koch Jr. says Bell's ability to pass the field sobriety test did not, quote, sufficiently undermine the belief that he was driving under the influence. By this decision, they're not saying that if you pass the field sobriety test, you should be arrested anyway. They're saying based on everything that was available to the officer at the time of the arrest, he had enough. Now, these court documents say Bell's mental functioning during that sobriety test was, quote, excellent, and that he can use that to suggest that that leads to reasonable doubt when he's fighting that DUI charge. Reporting live in Franklin, Eric Alvarez, Fox 17 News.